electrode is a solid electric conductor we know about that so now i am go to the types of electrodes in electrolytic cell in uh, in which one that electrolytic cell how many types of electrodes are will be there so that is the first one is a first one is a inert electrode the second one is a active electrode what is the inert electrode the electrode which is that transfer electricity without playing a chemical role inert means it's not uh, chemically play a role in the reaction but it is transfer the electric current okay so here i given some example platinum graphite steel these are the examples of inert electrodes so they are involving the transfer of electricity but it, uh, it is not involving in the chemical reaction means it is under not going to the oxidation or reduction but it is transfer the electricity from one place to another place this type of electrodes we call that inert electrodes simple inert electron inert electrode means it's not involving the chemical reaction but it can be transfer of electricity okay that's it. that is a inert electrode so next one i go to the active electrode see here the so active electrode means the electrode which take part in the chemical reaction take part in a chemical reaction means it is involved in the chemical reaction so that mean so they can either be oxidized or reduced so when it is involved in the chemical reaction that electrode can be oxidized or reduced what is oxidized means they can be maybe the loss of electron or maybe the gain of electron in the off cell of reaction okay that type of rea electrodes we call the active electrodes but inert electrodes they cannot be involved in the chemical reaction but it is transfer the electricity from one place to another place that we call that inert electrodes i given here is the inert electrode platinum graphite steel remember this example platinum graphite steel these are the inert electrodes uh, they cannot be role play chem chemical reaction uh, in a, they cannot be uh, play chemical role in the chemical reaction but it is transfer the electricity from one place to an, another place so that is a inert electrode character the character of active electrode they can be involved in the chemical reaction they are oxidized or reduced in the off cell reaction so i given here is a, some example zinc copper silver aram so these type of the electrodes are active electrodes okay understood so i am going to the first one inert electrodes i am taken here in these three uh, cells inert electrode is there platinum 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 okay the first one we have to see here pot aqua potassium sulfate is there here aqua potassium sulfate here aqua potassium sulfate now see here potassium sulfate that can be divided into potassium c here k plus and so4 minus and water it is to divide into like to the h plus oh minus so see here in this electrolytic solution two cations one is potassium one is hydrogen so in this which is first deposit on the electrode of the cathode so we have to find out that uh, we have to find out that one so uh, i can explain today how we can uh, find out that uh, which is first cation or anion deposited the uh, deposited on the electrodes so see here potassium and hydrogen in this one which is uh, having the lower discharge potential that can be easy to uh, dep uh, deposited on the electrode so what is that which is having lower discharge potential lower discharge potential which is having that it can be deposited on the electrodes whatever it cation or anion so in this one potassium and hydrogen so hydrogen is the lower discharge potential discharge potential 
which one is having that lower discharge potential hydrogen plus lower discharge potential so that's why that hydrogen atom move towards in this one h plus ion first deposited on the cathode cathode is a minus no right anode is a plus okay see at the place of cathode reduction is occur so hydrogen for example i take that two hydrogens i taken two electrons so gives rise to forming of h2 gas so here is the place of anode what is occur the reaction 2 h plus s plus two electrons gives rise to uh, h2 gas liberated at the place of cathode now see here in this form so that is a cation occupied if the solution may be the contain two or more than two cations in that one uh, cation which is having the lower discharge potential that uh, that uh, deposit on the cathode so in this potassium and h plus lower discharge potential h plus is there uh, that's why it is uh, occupied on the cathode now it is liberated as a h2 gas next i go to the sulfate and hydroxide so anions anions uh, sulfate hydroxide is there in that one which is more uh, which is the lower discharge potential we have to see now now see a uh, sulfate and hydroxide hydroxide is the lower discharge potential which is having the lower discharge potential hydroxide is having lower discharge potential than to the sulfate hydroxide having lower discharge potential so it is deposited first which one is deposited hydroxide when is the hydroxide deposited on the uh, anode so here to see i take the four moles of hydroxide for the balancing of equation so four hydroxide minus the forming of water two moles of water and now it is given oxygen and lose four electrons so here oxygen is liberated and four electrons are lost so at the place of four oh minus gives rise to 2 h2o plus oxygen plus uh, how many electrons four electrons so oxidation occur means loss of electron now uh, sulfate and hydroxide that for hydroxide is a lower discharge potential so it is uh, first deposited on the anode and they liberated higher oxygen gas they liberated oxygen gas so understood i think okay now i go to the second example that is copper sulfate aqua copper sulfate listen here here copper sulfate is there cuso4 aqua means h2o na right from this here electrolysis copper plus 2 so4 minus 2 here h2 h plus oh minus so here to see copper plus 2 h plus here the two cations here the two anions in the electrolytic solution two cations and two anions so which is first deposit on electrodes i am taken here two cations and i taken two anions in that one which is uh, first deposit on the electrodes so it is must be depend on a uh, lower discharge potential what is that lower discharge potential so lower discharge potential so depend on this lower discharge potential the ion is uh, firstly uh, go to the electrodes and they deposited or liberated i show the now to see here i show the lower discharge potential uh, series of anions and series of cation now first one you have to see 
order of discharge uh, order of deposition of anion so carbonate ion carbonate is the first deposited then this all ions so see here carbonate is the uh, lower discharge potential than the this remain anions so sulfate is a uh, high discharge potential so it is not for first deposited on the electrode if the maybe is the contain these anions in the electrolytic solutions the carbonate is carbonate is the first deposit okay understood now see i given here a uh, deposition of cation so deposition of cation which is first deposited rm plus 3 is the first deposited on the cathode so why rm is a lower discharge potential it can be easily to separate and it can be easily to move towards the cathode uh, then remains the all cations will be there in the ca so electrolytic solution so rm plus 3 easily to be uh, separated and go uh, electrode uh, they deposited so see look at here rm plus 3 platinum mercury plus air yeah, uh, silver plus mercury plus 2 copper plus 2 yeah, h uh, hydrogen plus fe3 uh, fe plus 2 chromium plus 3 zn plus 2 mn plus 2 aluminum plus 3 magnesium plus 2 calcium plus 2 sodium plus potassium plus lithium plus so these all the cation the rm plus 3 is the lower discharge potential it can easily to uh, it can be easily to deposit on the cathode so lithium is a high discharge potential so it is a high discharge potential it is not easily to deposited on the electrode if may be in the contain of these cations so i think you understood this series no, this series uh, when you remember this series uh, you can be solve the problem uh, and you can get the one mark in the exam okay so see look at here yeah, the second example aqua copper sulfate in that copper plus 2 and h plus ions are there so she is uh, now look at here which is the first one more deposited uh, here to see copper plus 2 and h plus is there which is first deposit copper plus 2 is a, uh, first deposited now as yes, copper plus 2 is a first deposited how it is deposit copper plus 2 when it is moved towards the cathode there take the two electrons and formation of copper where it is formed at the place of cathode okay now right next one is here so here which is plus copper plus 2 plus 2 electrons gives rise to copper and next one is to see here aqua is there and sulfate is there uh, now before the example sulfate and uh, hydroxide is there hydroxide is a first deposited then the sulfate so how it is uh, deposit already uh, i written in previous uh, example four hydroxide that can be uh, forming of water and next one uh, liberate oxygen gas and uh, given four electrons so there at the place of anode uh, the reaction is 4 OH minus uh, gives rise to H2O plus oxygen plus four electrons so finally we get at the place of anode oxygen and it is oxidation oxidation means lose of electron so uh, i think you understood this topic so simple here which is the cation which having the lower discharge potential that is first deposit on the electrode okay so keep it in mind uh, this series uh, you can be solve the what it is given in the exam you can be easy to solve that one so anion series this one uh, this is the deposited uh, lower discharge potential this one is the less this one is the more this first deposit okay uh, this is the first deposit it is the least deposited means loss uh, so it is not first deposit on the cathode okay clear so remember this chart uh, you can be easily to solve the any is given electrolytic solution in that one you can be to find out easy